My name is Tom Kerslake, and I'm glad to say I'm a solar array engineer at the NASA Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm very glad to say and very excited to say that I get to work on solar arrays for the Asteroid Redirect Mission, and more specifically, the Solar Electric Propulsion Module that the solar array will power. And the reason that's exciting is we feel that that's a great stepping stone to get humans to Mars because we're going to be able to, to launch, travel millions of miles in space. We're going to go out to an asteroid or perhaps even one of the moons of Mars and grab a very large boulder and redirect it all the way back into Earth orbit. And that is a great precursor demonstration of the engineering and technology, not only for the solar array, but the solar electric propulsion system because in the future, then we're gonna be able to move even larger payloads that will be habitats and landers and all the equipment that humans are gonna to need to eventually get to Mars orbit and eventually down to the surface of Mars. NASA over the years with its contractor teams have been developing very advanced, lightweight, flexible solar arrays. And in fact, one of them was launched to Mars and it performed beautifully on the surface of Mars to provide power to the Phoenix lander. NASA and its partners have been developing advanced solar ray technology that can be used not only on the solar electric propulsion module to redirect an asteroid, but it can be grown in size and be used eventually to move around even larger objects than our asteroid material and eventually allow humans to get to the surface of Mars. Mm -hmm.